Hi guys, it's um, Colin Durant from www.cgdown.com. Uh, um, yeah, writer of horror, supernatural thrillers, fiction, bam, all that sort of stuff and everything. Feel free to hop over to my site, check out a few things, it'll be cool. Okay, um, today I'm talking about error we have with a QuickTime player. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this, but um, here's QuickTime player. When you click on it, it brings up this message. Uh, Please install Apple application support. So the error message is quite straightforward. It's telling you what to do, but then why do you need to do it and how do you need to do it? And you know why is the message um, appearing? Okay, so basically when it comes out in a message, this is what you need to do, uh, install application uh, support. So how you do that, the first thing you're gonna need to do is to download WinRAR, but download WinRAR, okay, so that it's in graphical and command line, or at the very least command line, but it's best to actually uh, download and install the graphical and command line versions. Now, this is a site that you go to, um, www.rarlab.com, obviously forward slash download um, .htm, um, so that will get you obviously to uh, this page. Now, depending on what your operating system is, if it's a 32-bit, download here the 32 bit if it's 64 bit download here the 64 bit um so once you've um downloaded that okay uh, what you need to do then is to grab your quicktime installation folder file so when you downloaded quicktime it probably would have downloaded um the installation files to your uh or rather the zip file to your um downloads folder um, i've put mine on my desktop here just for ease of ease of use for this to, uh, tutorial but you want to grab that okay now, if when you right click it, what you should see now, which you may not have seen before, is an option in WinRAR to extract files. Now, if you've just got the standard version of WinRAR, you won't have the option. That's why you need to download at least a command line and graphical user version of it. So that site is where you do it. Now, what I've also done is created a new folder. Now, you don't need to. You can you can extract those files wherever you please. But I've created a new folder to keep it nice and neat. So once you've got your QuickTime uh, installer which is what you would have downloaded in order to get QuickTime to begin with so you should have that already what you do is that you right click it okay extract files okay and then what you want to do is um, select where you want to extract the files to for me it would be on my uh, new folder there I think that's the one click OK and it will begin to extract the files. Now once it's done that, when you go into your new folder with those extracted files, what you should then see are these files here. Now what we want is the top one, the Apple application support.msi. That's what we want. So all you need to do, that's what it's asking you to install. So that's what you install. So if you double click on that. Now depending on what kind of Obviously, speed and processing and RAM you have and everything. Sometimes it can take some time. Sometimes it can be quite quick. But follow the uh, on-screen instructions for obviously installing. Next, install. Accept the default location. Okay, yes. Blah de blah de blah. Yep. Install, install. I've got kind of new files. So obviously, just wait for it to do its thing. Once it's done that, finished. Now that is essentially it. Now if we go to control panel, okay, uninstall the program. Yeah, so Apple application support. Now you obviously don't need to go to control panel, it's just to verify that it is there. Now if you click on QuickTime, you won't get that message and you'll have your QuickTime window will open all ready for you to play your videos and do what you need to do. And that is it. Okay, got any questions, please ask. Uh, as they're feel free to visit, visit my site, www.cgdown.com. Drop me a line. Thank you very much for watching and listening.